After my near-death experience, I had to learn about the ways in which I caused myself pain and the world around me. I didn't feel good about myself both prior to my NDE and even the months and some years following. A big chunk of my life I was always seeking out others who made me feel good <laughs> and I could never find them. I, I never had good examples growing up of people who felt really good about themselves, I guess you could say, people who deeply honored who they were. I had been presented with people, family, friends, uh, teachers, acquaintances, who either made me feel bad about myself or from whom I never really felt good in their presence. So years later, after my near-death experience, I knew this really had to change. I decided to focus on two things, going within, healing those uh, issues, those shadow aspects of myself, I guess is one way to put it, and really taking 100% responsibility for my reality. And number two, as I felt better with who I was, to then have a desire to make others feel good about themselves and, you know, or at least leave our interaction together feeling light and happy. So while focusing on these two life-changing approaches, um, going within to change my reality and helping others feel good, I began to see in the world that people either showed up in life uh, in two ways, which was chaos or peace. And I'm not talking about the beautiful chaos that happens in nature when the waves crash upon the shores or the rocks or lightning strikes or when kids start yelling and screaming, running in circles around the park. To me, that kind of chaos is beautiful. I'm talking about the kind of chaos which is, um, and this is a part of, of, of our own learning as well, but it's the part that we neglect. It's the kind that is stirred up within us, um, within our being, the result of not dealing with our personal issues, our shadow, our unresolved emotions. This, this kind of chaos negatively affects the body, mind, and spirit. And when a person shows up in this way, they create more chaos and more disease and more disharmony around them, affecting everybody and everything. They are creating a legacy of chaos for themselves, which ripples out into all areas of life. And um, I just want you to know that that doesn't need to happen. I love the famous Maya Angela quote, I've learned that people will forget what you said, they will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. And from my perspective, you know, I don't care if you made the greatest invention in the world to heal some disease, wrote a blockbuster film with a very poignant message, or um, you believe you have a purpose to upgrade humanity, <laughs> or even, you know, pointing people to find their own true nature. I mean, these things can be wonderful, yes, but you can ch achieve so many great things in life, but if you haven't made someone feel wonderful about themselves, or at least had the intention to do so, then what is it you are creating? And who is it for? Are you creating a legacy of chaos, which is always or eventually self-serving and never makes anyone feel good, and most definitely yourself? Or are you working on getting your inner world clear so you can become peace-filled, honoring yourself, loving yourself, even just liking who you are, liking yourself? And in that, you're truly enhancing those lives of those around you, and that just becomes a natural unfolding, helping other people and wanting to help them. Creating a legacy of peace so that when you show up in peace, life has no other choice than to be peaceful.